Hey everybody, I hope you're well. It's Darcy. Um, so this video is another video for my um, school that I'm putting together for a dossier for one of my art courses. Now this one's going to be a watercolor again. I'm going to go through it, and, um, but it's funny because there's a couple of reasons behind this. The first reason is someone may say, okay, why did you paint this? And actually, I met a really nice girl, uh, about 30 years younger than me, but she was really nice, came into my work with her friends, and I was talking to her, and she, her family uh, owns a restaurant. So I found out the restaurant, and I went down, took a picture of it as a reference photo, and I painted it, and now I'm just going to give it to her, um, because she just seems like a really good person. And then uh, the second part of this, uh, the reason I'm bringing this up is, this has a lot of um, technical issues in water coloring that I needed to use with uh, ink just to clean it up a bit. I'm going to go through that as well because I think that's important. It's helped me over the years. So here we go. Um, again, uh, if you like stuff like this, please hit like and subscribe and share with your friends and neighbors. I'm getting a lot of support and I appreciate it. Here we go. Okay, so. One of the things, I don't know if you've tried this before, one of the things I really don't like doing is lettering and watercolor. Mostly because uh, watercolor, as you're aware, you're moving around basically puddles of colored water. So it's hard to get a nice sharp edge uh, without a lot of masking and stuff like that. But here I uh, improvised a bit and I started bringing in my uh, Copic markers and a Sharpie uh, just to get the letters down the restaurant. Its name is Shelby's. Um, it's a Mediterranean restaurant. The family just bought it. The interesting thing when I posted this picture on Instagram, uh, I had a bunch of people get back immediately and say, hey, I've eaten there before. So that was kind of neat. Now the one thing about this building, um, because of the way it was situated, I really like painting buildings. However, um, you, there's different ways to do it. This was a basically front-on approach. You can see it's really only two dimensions. Uh, so that's uh, the f length and the width of the building because I didn't take it on an angle. There's no perspective view of it, but I did sort of work around there. I just needed to get a little bit of depth going and I tried doing that with some additional uh, colors and working with the glass and the windows and everything like that. Now you're going to notice I'm going to be trying to paint the bricks. The bricks are uh, a very outstanding feature of this. Uh, if you saw it in real life, I'm going to put a picture up of the actual uh, restaurant. But the bricks are between the dark red bricks and the white mortar in between. The bricks stand out as definitely part of the construction. I know that may seem silly, but when you want to, there they are, there I'm starting it. When you want to try and duplicate this, you've also got to get the bricks to stand out as well to give it the same sort of uh, flavor. What I did, and it's going to jump to it in a second, I actually had to turn the video off and basically start swearing at it and get right down into it. And I put little tiny brick marks all over the entire building. And you're going to see that switch um, almost immediately here. Five, four, three, two, one. And there they are. You can see the bricks. Uh, you'll see a little bit more of that later. Just doing a very wet sky. It looks kind of cool actually when it uh, dries, but I was putting a lot of water down. Um, I didn't want any hard hard lines up there for the clouds. Uh, also got the signage done, working on the windows. Um, I used a little bit of white wash to let the white mortar from the bricks come through and it was very important to do the angles on the painted parking lot um, for the where the cars per parked because that gave me some uh, a little bit more depth as well. Painted the uh, the reflection I was getting off the clouds and the buildings behind me I decided rather than put more gray in there, I wanted to brighten it up a bit, so I used purple for the reflections in the window. And I thought that turned out okay too. But this is it. Um, again, I'm going to give it to Amira, that's her name, which apparently with a joke that night was Amira means princess. So this is called Amira's Castle. And this is video number two for my uh, dossier for my studio seminar course. Thanks very much. Hope you have a great day.